Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you're having a lovely day off if you got the day off today. If you didn't, I'm sorry. That's unfortunate. But uh, hopefully you're able to enjoy a little bit of today and relax a little bit. And, you know, it's a not exactly a positive day, but, you know, we're doing the best we can. I'm just getting us set up here. I hope y'all are having a nice start to the week. I hope your morning was good. We slept in until like 10.30, which I haven't done in a while, and then had bacon and eggs for breakfast, which was delicious. I'm just making sure everything is working. It is. Happy Martin Luther King Day if you're in the U.S. Uh, and if you're not in the U.S. and you don't know who he was, Google him. And we are good to go. Rock and roll. Hi, Katu. So today, we are going to be continuing our uh, misadventures on the Citadel. And uh, continuing... Hi, Kat! Uh, con continuing... Well, we finished the Citadel, didn't we? We finished the Citadel. We're on the Normandy. We talked to everybody. So now, it's time to actually do things. It was a nice little chill stream yesterday. I enjoyed it. My glasses are so dirty, though. Where's my cleaner? What do I do with it? It's right here. Oh no. There we go. Sometimes my mic makes angry noises. Oh, my glasses are so dirty. Do you guys get that? It's still making a noise. We good now? I think we're good now. It's a little bit of a low energy stream today. I'm not sure why. Is this better? This is better. I can actually see now. Huh. Yeah, I woke up in the middle of the night feeling a little not right, but I feel fine today. So I think it was just, I was, was snoring and then made my throat hurt. <laughs> oh man, it is cold here. It is windy. Michigan is the place to be if you want winter weather, that's for sure. <sighs> we got our stress chocolate because I am sure I will see husks today and very much not enjoy it. Oh, get ourselves comfy. Pop a num and num. And let's go. Cold and windy, I can relate. Yeah, I heard you had a bunch of snow last night. What a foot? Foot of snow on the ground to boot, yeah. Unfortunately, there's no snow. We had a little dusting this morning, but it's gone now. So, unfortunately. <sighs> right, Anderson. The question is, if I answer that, is it going to be time sensitive? Because I kind of want to go do some of these side quests. But I guess we should probably just, like... Hello. Whoa! That was... A new glitch. Did not enjoy that. A zero out of ten. Shepard. Can you not have like six of your head like that? Because that was uncomfortable to say the least. What up, Anderson? Shepherd. I was hoping you'd check in again. Uh oh. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club. I don't know what that was. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you men... Uh-oh. What'd I do? On the arm, Shepard. So for one thing, we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. Jeez, you're about so dark. It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Me too. Well, the crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. 
Oh, it's Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reaper may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Mm. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Yes, sir. back through the weirdness yeah I don't know what that glitch was I know every time we come from this area to the main part of the ship it like glitches and looks like we're in outer space but I've never come back through yeah so they'll sometimes just be like dudes walking around but it's in space there's nothing there and then it reverts to normal but I've never gone back through and seen just like Shepard's head all fucked up like that come on Beth all right, before we get going, I'm freezing, so I'm gonna grab a blanket. Hang on one sec. I was getting a blanket. Dave is currently playing, um, oh my God, what's it called? Forza Horizon 4 or 5, I'm not sure which one. And uh, he just, I surprised him because he's got his headphones and he just goes, oh, hello. <laughs> Much better. Get our cozy blanket going. This will improve everything. Whoops. I guess we're as close as we're getting. Got our blanket. Let's fuck shit up. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna not do Dr. Bryson yet. We're not gonna do Anderson's apartment. And I don't want to do Arya's stuff just yet. So, we've got find the ex Cerberus scientists, investigate the Asari colony, Cerberus fighter base, and speak with the Quarians. Let's start with the server scientist. Is he feeling better? He is. Um, he's pretty much down to, I don't want to say no symptoms, but low symptoms. So that's good. Um, he's mostly just tired, which I get. All right, off we go. Yay, good to hear, yes. We are relieved. He is on the mend. So he should be feeling better in the near future. Alright. Gellix was given to the Krogan after the Rachni Wars, but bitterly contested in the Krogan rebellions and reconquered by the Turians. This left the Turians as caretakers to a levo-amino acid-based world that they could not inhabit themselves but were unwilling to give up. In cooperation with the Vol Protectorate, the Turians attempted to rent the planet out for colonization. Between the high price and a surface littered with unexploded ordnance, however, Gellix found few reputable tenants. Its most notable inhabitants were penal colonies. To those who know of it today, Gellix is a symbol of tragic waste, an entire garden world nearly forgotten by the galaxy at large. Alright. What mission are we doing? We're starting... Hello, Velociraptor. With, um, finding the Cerberus scientists. Um, let's see. I promised James I'd take him out, so we'll bring James. And maybe Edie? She's kind of a glass cannon, but she might be good for certain things. Though Ashley, what does she have? E -D -E -D -E -D. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Except I think I'm gonna have to level both of them up quite a bit. I've been taking Javik and Garrus and Liara pretty much everywhere. Um, James, I can probably give you a new gun. Or does it automatically give him the better one? I think it does. But we can modify some stuff for you. Oh, 
Sorry. I forgot to take my allergy pill yesterday. Ah, oh, the Russian bots are here, you guys. Vun rent. Thank you. Yeah, I don't like any of these. And do we have any better mods? No, I think we fucked with this before, so this is fine. Back. And then Edie's got some good guns, so I'm not worried about that. What would where would we be without the bots? Just use your fists, James. Yeah, honestly. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of powers here. Let's start with James, because his is easy. He rips the target into stretch with this vicious blast. Incendiary ammo I love using. Frag grenades. Fortification. Let's definitely do this one. Health and shield or weapon damage. Probably weapon damage. And then we'll also do decrease shield recharge. Increase power damage. We do that too. Carnage sounds extremely handy. I love incendiary ammo. I don't care about my squad mates having it. Pretty much everyone that needs to have it has it at this point. Increase damage protection. Let's do damage protection. I don't see him actually using the melee very often. And a frag grenade. Alright. And then Edie. <sighs> She's kind of a glass cannon, so I always want to try and upgrade this. Decoy is handy. And we'll increase defense because she's kind of wimpy. Alright, confirm. Let's fuck some shit up. Hopefully James is good, because I never bring him anywhere. I don't actually know if he's any good. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have not been provided many details. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. But she's an adorable it glass cannon. Scientists? That she is. And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Great. Okay, set us down and get out of here. I need these scientists to I heard a weird noise, but I think it might have been Dave. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, okay, one of them's dead. Wait, Jacob? Jacob? The hell is he doing here? I forgot he was in this. Where are the fucking scientists? Holy balls. Freezing out here. Alright. Just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this gun on their head?
some bitch pop up. Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Nice outfit. This is also clearly modded. Jacob exists. Yeah. Nothing wrong with forgetting Jacob. Shep like, okay, whatever to anything James says. Oh my god. That was a weird cutscene. All right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting his people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. <laughs> this one's on the house. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex servers Scientists mostly. Oh, it is Hawk. Civilians. Holy shit. Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Damn. And this is the part where he gets some other woman pregnant, if, even if you romanced him. Hot damn. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the collector base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Now, the elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. Choke. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were gonna find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. True facts. They're back. back Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. All right. Jacob did not recognize me. This may be an opportunity to surprise him. Let's just focus on the mission, Edie. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Alright, they're bombing the hell out of us. I was gonna say, wait. Oh, I forgot I changed Edie's look. I'm like, what the hell? Commander Shepard. Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. Oh my god. Any way of putting it? Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. Oh I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea. Bro, he killed that man. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. Yeah, honestly, fuck I you, dude. Stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. Good. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster. You are a monster. He his own brother. He dyed his hair for his emo phase. He did, yeah. Velociraptor says the bad guy is jamming them somehow. AKA the writers don't know how hacking works. Wait, you can kill Jacob? I hope he steps on a Lego next time he takes his shoes off. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, 
He only had to look in the mirror. I want it out of his nightmare. His eyes are like haunting. Just you go. If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. Good. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of him living in a nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. And he will always have the warm side of the pillow. Yeah, fuck him. Men with two light eyes are creepy. And I'm not even gonna pretend it was good to see you again. Nah. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. Oh, I like the cool side of the pillow. Got some credits. Private message from Horace to Bryn. Bryn, I don't like this. I've managed to get eyes on some of the research the others were doing, and I'm getting a sense the bigger picture here is beyond anything we could have imagined. In our worst nightmares, kind of imagined. I'm going to start sabotaging my work. That's how bad it is. We need to make a meet up and talk ASAP. H. All right. So whatever it was Cerberus had them doing was clearly fucked. Great. Weapon bench. Get the decks and Stockholm cells and pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. James got stuck on the other side of the door. Come on, Jamie boy. Oh my god. Okay, he's stuck somewhere. I think if you let Archer worry, he'll kill himself, or am I wrong? He would certainly deserve it. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. Another guy with light eyes. We're going to make it. He's too stupid to work on automatic door. What's the status of the gun? <laughs> Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How the hell did you go dark with so many in tow? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? A dangerous choice. Yeah, that seems stupid as hell. Both hawks. That was male hawk? Oh shit. So those refugees I've literally never played as him. Yes. And we have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. But it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. I like those two of my favorite voice actors right here. Female Hawk and Jen Hale. This escape will have to be carefully executed. Just GA2 but better. <laughs> we tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. That's fine. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you've found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Hey, Arcalian. Wait, what I just what just happened? Oh, it's just a boom. We're gonna save, just to be safe. Uh, male Hawks VA can change his voice more than female can. Every, I don't know. Every time I hear female Hawks VA, it's the same as Hawk or Siri. Wait, she plays Siri? I didn't know that. One of the outgoing landlords was here fixing the door in the toilet. Great. I hope they get bent. Doctor Cole. Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. 
And I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. They can stay unbent so long as I get a new place. Okay. <laughs> what kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. <laughs> it also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life Ooh. is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? How'd you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. So, what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant, of course. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. Did I ask about Cerberus work already? What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive it yeah, was I a researcher. Did. The elusive man. It also strange to think about. Maybe. But then life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone? Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Yeah, yeah. Don't fuck it up. Another data pad. Personal log, Bryn Cole. With Jacob's help, we've managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. Contacts terminated is what Cerberus called it. Makeda, Scott, Daniel, chun -Hye, Anika, and so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace, just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? Lisa, let's just get the hell out of here. Calm down. Commander Shepard's here. So what? <laughs> so relax. We've got a little time. Only a little, dude. Shepard, I'm in here. I am by no means perfect. Hey, you okay? Have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. Me before my homework's due the next day? I have time, yeah. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. How long have you known Bryn? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Ask for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her. You settling down, Jacob? <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's just, um, if these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people, building a life, whatever's left of it. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well, Things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. Yeah. So I quit Cerberus. I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. Talking to Jacob is like talking to a brick wall. Me at 3 a.m. watching cute puppy videos with an assignment due at 8 a.m. for school. You can see how a femme chef who romance Jacob might not take this so well. Yeah, honestly. And what did all the fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure. I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Don't tell me what I can and can't do, bitch. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. 
You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> <laughs> right. If I was Femme Shep and did him and saw that Jacob apparently wanted to get married and have his girlfriend carry a baby, oh, thank God that ain't me. Oh. <laughs> I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. All right. Glad we caught up. Outpost reports Jacob Taylor. Outpost now 48% operational. We've reorganized some of the storage rooms around the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. The outer areas are all condemned now, which should provide us with a buffer should service agents find us. The guns are functional, but I don't like how exposed they are. I'm going to look into finding us some shielding on the black market. Something he was never able to do, clearly. Leveled up. <laughs> uh, personal log, Damini Sangupta. Attempts are ongoing f at figuring out what the end product of our research was meant for. While it was, while it is obvious that the delivery system was meant to be implant reliant with evident neurological applications, the questions remain as many questions remain as of yet unanswered. The locks of Doctor Horace Armstrong, in particular, is hindering our efforts to speedily reconstruct the nature of the elusive man's goals. We have several parts of the whole which lead us to chilling conclusions, but we are nowhere near figuring out what the said whole might be, and that is what scares me the most. Oof. Let me. I'll plug it and meet you at the shuttle bay. You should have gone I don't want to die. Well, go. Just focus just go. on getting out of here alive. Go. I'm okay. Let's just do this. All right. A hastily assembled militia is no match for a service force of any kind. The elusive man really wants these guys. Come on, Shepard. Sorry, Jacob. You really were blind. Yeah. His eyes are bricks. His body is bricks. He is a brick wall. Accurate. these fuckers.
I'm supposed to go. It looks like up here. Oh, okay, get up that way. All right. Sorry, I'm ignoring you guys. If Jacob is a brick, James is pure cement. <laughs> Cement's more useful and versatile. True facts. Oh, sorry, one second. I like how you guys are calling him a brick. Why would you expect typical soldiers to be able to do anything besides gun modding? I was expecting another wave of enemies, to be honest. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Uh, Edie, obviously, right? James is nice. Yeah, James can make a bunch of friends easily. No one in ME2 like Jacob. That's true. I do like James. I'm assuming I pick Edie here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Can't have Rex or Grunt, so I'll take James. Edie, of course. Okay. Just making sure. Edie, I need you to fix the guns. I will make the repairs. Okay, James. It's on. Bring it. Did you see that barrel roll this fucker's doing? I'm knocking him down pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, wait. Shit. There's someone here. I was not expecting that. Let's get these people out of here. Dope. I like how they don't make me walk all the way back on my okay, own. Unlike the Dragon Age. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, oh no. when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We can go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Well, let me catch up on the chat here. I literally bring James to missions where I know he needs to repair stuff because it's so funny. A meathead is a terrible thing to waste. Like in a later mission, the Reapers are about to blow a planet up and it's up to James to restore shields or everybody dies and he shrugs and kicks the console and it works. Yes, that's a beautiful moment. That modded white coat. Um, what do we think? Do we go or not yet? I don't want to get him killed. As much of a pain in the ass as Jacob is, I do not want to get him killed. I wouldn't mind if douchebag scientist died. Project Overlord guy, but I don't want to kill Jacob. Because he's an asset. You don't remember? Alright, can someone Google it for me? Because I don't want spoilers. 
go, go now. Is that what we're saying? Cat is saying go. I'm just making sure. What does the vote say? Yeah, he's got a family to take care of now, and in the end of the universe, always have as many hired guns as you can. Just drop Jacob on their heads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, bricks to the brain can be pretty deadly. Ow. I'm gonna assume evacuate immediately. So that's what we're going with. If you wanted to kill a douchebag scientist, you tell him you don't know what happened at Grissom Academy. He walks off camera and shoots himself. Oh. Oh well, too late now. Alright, let's go All now. Alright, let's get these shuttles in the air. I'm scared. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Troops are oh, shit. Get those people out of here. Right in the crotch. Go time, baby. Yeah. Take out that shield generator. I have a visual. Where are these fuckers? Shot his head off. Yep. Jacob, come in. What's your status? guys damn straight that was the last of the civilians Oh no. What just happened? No, my game crashed. Oh 
Oh no! Do we have to do the whole thing again? Cerberus won. Oh no! Let me relaunch. <laughs> I don't think that's happened in a while. Shit. When was the last time we saved, y'all? F, thank you. That's unfortunate. Ah. Oh, damn. I like how it's saying I have three viewers when I clearly have like six at this point. Just so you know, if you're thinking about streaming. Streamlabs, not reliable. Welp. <laughs> Resume. All right. Let's go. Stress chocolate time. Cerberus learned that trick from the collectors in the last game. Yeah, I think that's the last time we had a crash like that. Fuck, they sent a whole army. Take out Shepard? Yeah, right. You can't take me out. I'm Commander Shepard. Ooh! Wait, she's got different hair now. She looks totally different. What just happened? Jacob, get on the fucking ship. You can't take me out. I'm Commander Shepard. I have plot armor. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Shepard. There go your drugs. Nice to see you back in action. The pregnant lady yeah. ran out in the fire for you. Good. Yeah. Her I hair changed. What? But because of you, we got almost everyone. Look at this awful hair. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One that you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your That's seat. a glitch, all right. And I'm sure what the hell? Well. This is awful. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. It suits <laughs> Jacob's taste! <laughs> you don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander... I've never met anyone like you. Just feels better knowing you're on our side. Those robot guns really burnt through her hair. Shepard, when this mess is over, the drinks are on me. Be safe out there. That's a new glitch. Uh, someone screen cap that for me, because that's excellent. Hackett here. Admiral Hackett. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. Yeah. I'm with you. Shepard out. She does look like she came out of an active ward zone. I mean, fair. Damn. Alright, we got... Oh my god, excuse me, updates now. So we got the 103rd Marine Division. And we got ex server Scientists, Dr. Cole, Dr. Gavin Archer, Jacob Taylor. Yeah, her hair is fine there. I don't know what the hell happened. It must be like a mashup of a mod 
like maybe there was a hair mod that went with the uh whoa get down shepherd uh that went with the outfit and it just didn't implement correctly because half my mods don't work because i'm bad at mods Her model of talking in the ship for the cutscene must be a different model than her at the beginning of the mission. That's the only thing I can think of. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Thanks. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. <laughs> Turn it into a regular marine. Yeah. Well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Aww. Commander? Kind of don't like how people can just see you when we have new emails. Just me? Yeah, I don't love that either. But she is your assistant, essentially. Visiting the Citadel from Javik. Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assumed Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reapers. If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control sharing among, among the races is a lie. From Liara. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock at the Citadel. Garrus, Shepard, I thought the next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Can't fight a war without getting a little R&R &R once in a while. I'll be hanging around the CSEC near the shuttles if you're interested. Miranda, Shepard, I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, but there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll meet, I'll find a place to meet and send you the nav point when you get here. Ashley, Shepard, my sister got everything set up at the Citadel Memorial. She showed me what she's doing, what she's going to put up on the wall. It's nice. I wish I could do something to make this easier for her. She wants me to say something about our family. I know you're busy, but it would mean a lot if you could be there. Okay, so all signs point to going to the Citadel. The Reapers. Everyone sees Jacob and again, and everyone needs to forget about it and take a break. Yeah. Oh, my nose. Why can't I just, like, have this not be an issue anymore? Let's see what Joker has to say. And then I guess we'll head back to the Citadel. Well, yeah, we'll go back to the Citadel. We'll see what the peeps have to say. What's up, Joker? You're gonna have a hard time recruiting now. True facts. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. Glad to hear it. I can see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Yeah, we got out early. Commander? Okay, that's better. Edie? What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. Hmm. I'm speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equals three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying mass of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Fuck. All signs point to the Citadel. I think you got a mission about a Volus ambassador there, too. Hello, Shepard. Do I? Shepard. Uh-oh. Commander. We have another glitch. I can't move. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I can upgrade slam. Karmic Victus emailed you last episode. Okay, yeah. Well, for now, I'm stuck. So let's uh, save. I can't move. You get stuck in the gap between the floors in every game sometimes. 
yeah, there's no getting out of here. So we're going to go to the main menu. <laughs> and then we're going to reload. That's annoying. There we go. Oh. I still remember when Fem Shep got pushed off the Citadel by a keeper. I forgot about that. I really hope someone clipped that because that was excellent. Janet mentioned something while you two having some fun next time you're in the Citadel. But don't get into trouble. Commander. She's not wrong. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I think you missed that one. Which game was that? First one, I think? Emmy one? I was referring to another YouTuber. I think Brody is referring to someone else. I have seen that. I was pushed off of... I fell through the map in Emmy one when we were on Vermeer. Oh, yeah, there's another YouTuber I watch who they were on the Citadel in ME1. And the exact same thing happened to me, but I don't remember if it was on stream or not, because I ended up going back and fixing a couple things in my game. Because, um, like, my mods weren't working, so I ended up replaying, like, the first two hours of the game. And I fell through the Citadel. But that happened... Um, what was it? Emmy? Yeah, Emmy one on Vermeer. I fell through the planet like three times. No, Where it was not off, scripted. Normandy. Do you need ground transport? No, thanks. I'll handle it. She stood in front of a keeper and it pushed her off right the cell into an endless white void. Classy. I missed what Edie said, but I bet it was sarcastic. I like sarcastic Edie. <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't be this tired. I slept in. I mean, we were up late, but you know. Okay, what's with the blackness? I think Edie was talking about number of refugees. Okay. There we go. It, like, didn't load in for a second. Anyone interesting over here? Anyone to eavesdrop on? Nope. All right, then. What about in here? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? None of you bitches want to talk to me? Okay. I think he was talking about, uh, I've been tired for the last six months. Sure. It's okay. If you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. I want to go on a date with Garrus. Let's go. Shepard. Glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. <laughs> but then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Aww. Where are we going? Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Ooh. Now you're talking. <laughs> Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? I've woken up with a Turian next to me. Still trying to make me blush. <laughs> Until it works. So what's your one thing? The whole time I worked at CSEC. I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, this is cute. Hey, Shep's got a great date outfit. Stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. It's incredible. I'd be lying if I said I didn't hope it would inspire a certain mood. <laughs> Something on your mind? It seemed like you needed time to figure us out. Oh, I don't need time, Garrus. Are you ready to be a one Turian kind of woman? Yes. The only thing that made leaving Earth bearable was knowing you were out there somewhere. <laughs> I feel the same way. The worst part about the galaxy going to hell would have been never getting to see you again. Well, here I am. Exactly where I want to be. I love you, Karis Vicarian. Ah! Wow. The vids Joker gave me, well, they never got this far. <laughs> there was the part about sleeping together, but this is... I don't know. Who needs a vid when you've got me? <laughs> Are they gonna do it in public? Oh, okay. Aw, the dip. That's so cute. Now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle once and for Fuck off. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. <laughs> so, let's find out who's really there are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. <laughs> yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No pun. I love how everyone tears in you about Good your point, dancing. Yeah. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice loads for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Uh-huh. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Hey. <laughs> Step aside. Oh, I could miss on purpose. Nah, he likes the fact that we're a strong woman. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe, but technically, I died. <laughs> yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the. <laughs> off limits. You're trespassing in an official citadel zone. So, do we give a damn about regulations now? Hell no. How about a high-speed chase before we die? <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, I hope they go to jail for the night. Aww. We went on a date with Gare Bear. Brody, your face is turning red. Yeah, yeah. Shepard only looks preoccupied because she was thinking about shopping for outfits. <laughs> oh god, all the C-Sec and soldiers down there are getting PTSD because of the gunshots right after the Citadel was overtaken. Yeah, you know, maybe not our brightest moment. Okay. That was adorable. They're in love. I love it. Okay. So that's that. Next, let's go to the embassies and hit up Miranda. That was really cute. Don't remember the part about the seaside car showing up. Maybe that's romance. At least put a silencer on Garrus, honestly. It's it's cuz I, I think it's cuz Garrus didn't win. If you let him win, it's cuter. Oh. Oh well. I don't think he'd appreciate that. What up, Javik? Not like that. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The 
the city there was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. It's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. <laughs> Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. <laughs> they consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But if you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the dead. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Turian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside <laughs> you. I know you didn't mean it like that the way you said it. I was like, uh. If he wins, it, he says it's his favorite spot on the Citadel. Oh, oh well. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human. He won't live in caves. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. That's cool. The Reapers. We must kill the Reapers. I love his fucking accent. It's bomb as hell. I like how the Hanar freaked out, though. I think that was funny. I like how we're seeing more female Krogan, too. Like, a female Krogan and a female Turian hanging out. That's dope. Alright. There are other people here. I like how there's... Well, I don't like it, but there's more guards now. What happened to that old lady? I want to know what happened to her. Oh, and what's her face shipped out? That sucks. That's mods. Re real female will be back breeding right now. <laughs> breeding. Yeah. Bailey's patched up. You got anything new to say? Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. Yeah. How you feeling? You'd be in the hospital. Oh, we already if talked I'm breathing, about this. I'm working. Right. Probably the worst of it. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs keep getting is gonna keep me Who's out of bugging action, me? they've got another thing coming. Oh, it's a reminder to go pick up my prescription, but that's gonna have to wait. All right. Back to work, Bailey. Time for rest. The female like Krogan Centurions are all modded. I figured. Yeah. See you later, Bailey. Be good. Don't cause too much trouble. Do we have any more stuff to do as a specter? Spectorial duties. Ooh, what's this? Message terminal. 
Boop, boop. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I, I love her hair and her outfit. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Oh, Where no. is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. All right. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Oh, shit. Modded trench coat. S shut up. Von Red. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. No. I doubt the Citadel is cold enough with all the fake weather, but okay, do whatever, wear whatever you want, Mary. Yeah, I know. Uh, civilian consultation authorization. An importer or exporter with past convictions for smuggling has been offered to gather critical supplies for a ransom. Is in good faith and has refused to make an arrest and is legally restricted from accepting her offer. Authorize. Um, transfer authorization. Private Talavi has requested a transfer to a unit actively engaged against Reaper hostiles. Um, oh, this is the chick we we overheard. Yeah, she does not have to go kill her brother. Volus Ambassador Din Corlax's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position is in an office suite near their human embassy. Any Turian specific toxin? Oh, this is something we need. Okay, at least we can do a little more good now. War assets, and we can go give that to the doctor when we go into Huerta to check on Jacob. Okay, hang on. There's someone else we're supposed to talk to. Office suite guard. Okay, so all the way at the other end. My mother-in-law. I swear to God. There we go. The game froze for a second. Din Korlak seems badly. You ought to know by now. <laughs> Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Let me in. Let's see what's up. Don't forget to save. Too late, guys. now the risks you took 
just by passing information to Cerberus, it left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't. I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. Zaid. Zaid? Commander Shepard, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. All right. Let's do this. We got to talk Zaid down now. Fucker. At least we did his loyalty mission last time, so he should be chill. Or as chill as Zaid can be. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. on it here. Um, somewhere in here. Ha. There's a door. Damn, wrong door. I need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. the gunfire. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. <laughs> Undisciplined bastard. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Zaid killing the other mercs, yeah. I wish Mail Shep had Zaid's VA. I don't know, it would be cool. Agreed. Did those mercs hurt you? I like Zaid's outfit with the tats. I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. 
Mm-hmm. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. <laughs> If Zaid was disloyal, he'd be lying here in a pool of his own blood. Fuck. I want to play as Zaid, but as Shep. He'd be so cool saving the galaxy with his Merc history. Hell yeah. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a bolus is better nature, Shepard. I mean, <coughs> Aphis. The one. colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. All right. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. <laughs> Catch up with me at the docks if you like. Shit, okay. Well. Who else do we have to talk to here? Just Liara. She's down where we left her last time. That was funny as shit. Was not expecting... Thank you, I'll save. I was not expecting to see Zaid. But I guess I should have because we saw Kasumi. You know what I mean? Here's this chick with the awful hair again. I don't know what's up with that. But I don't approve. you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Who's that? I'm Molly, that Contessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. <laughs> no one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. <laughs> I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. Hmm. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. <laughs> Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Aww. I felt bad for turning Liara down in the first game, but... Hello, Shepard. It was for the best. Alright. Now we head to... Um, we'll go to Huerta Memorial first, and then we'll go to the docking bay area. All kinds of adventure on the Citadel. Join the Alliance Navy. I really want to know what the fuck Zaid's doing here. We're running. We're running. Alright. Let's check on this dumbass. How was everyone's weekend? Some of you guys didn't get to join me yesterday. What you guys been up to? 
I'm getting paid. Yeah, probably. Hello, it's Colo is descending into the depths of Project Overlord. She knows Archer is sus, but not why. Oh, poor girl. I'm just making sure I'm not missing any conversations in here. In addition to your medical discharge, the government wants to give you a medal. The intel you provided when that shuttle finally found you, you saved a lot of lives. And I killed those farmers. They were indoctrinated. You had to defend yourself. And as for Hillary, just think. When I took a shower and left my gun in the bedroom, I killed her. I Ira. I mean, she can blame the Reapers, but I'm just... You. Poor lady. I do feel a lot of sympathy for her. There he is. Hey, Shepard. I like his casual outfit. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. <sighs> oh, my nose. All my friends' siblings have COVID now, so they have to get tested and stay inside. Dude, it, the rate it's spreading, especially here in the U.S., is just fucking wild. Shep's hair is glowing. I just noticed that. Yeah, that's weird. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure. I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Aw. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. No offense taken. <laughs> None taken. That'd be a weird name. Good. It's a weird fist animation. Yeah, it is a little bit. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Packet keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. You gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. I would never romance him except for the completion. Like the getting all the achievements thing. Because he's just not my type. But I can appreciate how hard he's working. Okay, there's someone somewhere looking for this thing I picked up. For a Turian general. It's, he, they're in here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The general might pull through because of this. Awesome. And if not, at least it saves other lives, right? There's these two that were arguing before. Bane's body's gone now. That's sad. Like, just everything that happened to him. I just feel bad. I'm not I'm not into Thane either, but I get 
I get it. Ugh, the coughing sounds. Cover your COVID, people. All right, um, dock holding area. It's like in animes when you see them go like, yes, they do like the hand closing thing and then the pump down. I never understood it because it never looks right. Oh, that must be the sister-in-law. Commander, thanks for coming. This must be really hard on your sister. I'm very sorry for her loss. Bioware games are anime. <laughs> Don't tell them that. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. Oh. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. Dressed up for the funeral, essentially. Glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. I wanted Thomas to hear it. We need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best for four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. <laughs> Your sister's waiting. We'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? My list out. We're just watching on, being proud of her. Abby was grumbling, missing some big party, remember? And Lynn had a new dress. She's just so pretty. I always felt like an elephant next to her. It was a beautiful sunny day, but we were fighting about stupid stuff, being kids. Remember when mom came up and hugged us all? A big, fierce hug. She said, this is one of the good days. Something you'll remember. She was right. I love you guys. Aww. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Thanks for listening. Okay. I'll meet you back aboard the Normandy. And that's the only thing you can say. Alright. That's sad. Yeah, Jacob's animation was fucked up, but you know. It's a Bioware game. Not everything's perfect. Hi, dear. Hello. How's it going? Alright. How are you? We are streaming. Ash, how did that help? I don't think it helped at all, but she's not exactly known for her way with words, you know what I mean? Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Mm. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. Wondered if you'd show up, ships. This bitch. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. What else were you up to before the war? I had Vito to hunt down after he got away from us on Zoya. Did you manage Cost to? Me nearly everything I'd made to track him down, but I did it. Found him on a son's base inside a colony. Hired some men, stormed the place. Blew up the shuttle port first this time. Smart. So what happened to Vito? Vito was holed up in a tower with nowhere to go. I was close. We could hear Vito panicking, screaming orders. Then this shadow fell over everything. Damnedest thing, hearing a battlefield go quiet like that. Bet you can guess what happened. The Reapers. Yeah, completely tore up the base. 
bunch of harvesters scooped up everyone in sight. Oof. Saw one grab Vita and still hear the bastard scream. He tried shooting, but the gun fell out of his hand. Then he looked straight at me. Finally saw me. Begged me to shoot him. What'd you do? I walked away. Dodged the rest of the fight. Only one who made it back to the shuttle. Still, felt like I won that one. Ooh. I keep forgetting you're modded and not Ellie. Oh, so they reinstated the content and also put him in damn casual. Yeah. I did install a mod that brings back some content that was hidden or uh, was left out of the game but was still in the files. I don't know if it brought back everything, though, because, again, like, half my shit didn't work. You seem pretty calm about the Reapers showing up. Just wish they'd waited until I was dead and buried before setting Earth on fire. At my age, you're supposed to take it easy. <laughs> Not gonna have much luck just sitting around. True, but you picked a hell of a fight to get yourself into. But that fleet you're putting together might make the Reapers think twice if you pull it off. If? <laughs> Nothing personal. There's just a hell of a lot that could still go wrong. Free space is shrinking every day, and everyone knows it. Should get your fleets moving, at least. Keep them focused. Do you know the current leader of the Suns? Vosk, don't remind me. Little scumbag shot his mouth off on a patrol mission once. Got half his squad killed. Real popular after that. We couldn't boot him from the Suns fast enough. Should have ended his tenure with a bullet. Who are those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Should have studied the job longer. There's no way you could have known Korlak stopped working for Cerberus. That's no excuse. I killed Korlak and I'd have done right by Cerberus. No. The way I see it, those bastards owe me. Damn straight. Alright. Cerberus? Why go after Cerberus? Started with them trying to hire me back after we hit the collectors. Cerberus paid me enough after the Omega 4 relay. Yeah. Retired is what I should have done. But it's tough to settle down knowing the Reapers are on their way. What did Cerberus want? They wanted anyone with experience leading a fight. Gave me a tour of one of their new cruisers. Nice setup. Top of the line ship, organized crew, damn impressive weapons. Thought I'd been shot at by every kind of gun, but didn't recognize half of what Cerberus was using. What scared you off? Another hunch. Cerberus wanted me to lead their new recruits, but I slipped off tour to talk to their soldier. Found a restricted area and caught an officer without a helmet. Wasn't supposed to have done that, apparently. You <laughs> saw what the elusive man did to his people? It's downright sick. I asked the soldier what the hell had happened to his face. It pissed him off. <laughs> or maybe he didn't even understand the question. Things go downhill with Cerberus from there? They didn't want me leaving, I can tell you. Shot my way out with one of their fancy new rifles. Hmm. You know, I thought I'd find myself a bolt hole. Sit this one out somewhere warm and quiet. But no one tries to trick me into becoming a goddamn husk. Been picking up jobs against Cerberus ever since. Without that mod, he just asks a Batarian what they're looking at, then says he'll ask some of his old Merc friends to lend a hand, and says the first line about Vosk. That's it. He was almost Shepard. Colo is going through David's memories now. Oof. Oh, hello, bot. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing... I can lend a hand. Damn straight. I'll look out for you. All right, Shepard. I'll be here a while. All right. Now we've got Zaid and his buddies as a war asset. Hey. Oh. Hey, it's you. Still waiting. Any news? No, but they promised, right? We'll get here soon. I'm sure they will. I hope he like adopts her or something. All right, who's left down here? James and Tactus. 
thought I already talked to this person. Guess not. I recognize you. Your Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Chakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I like his paint. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat grade meds will make a difference. Oof. And our mission may just save everyone. Now's not the time for pettiness or mistrust. No. With our day to day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. Oh, I'll have my people contact yours. Together. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Thank you. Alright, check on James again, doing some more gambling. Probably not your best choice, my dude. Just saying. Oh. He's not over here anymore. There's this guy. Where the hell is he? There's that stupid VI again. Okay, hang on, I must have missed something. Oh, is this him? Damn it, I'm telling you someone sabotaged the medical facility. No, if I knew who, I'd have had them arrested. It doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying from lack of medication. Can you hear him dying but not see him? That's a proper glitch. I don't or hear him talking. I don't hear him. He's supposedly in cargo hold 7 with his Aid. There he is. What the hell is he doing? Getting another tattoo? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail, right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Yeah. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. All right. You know, I'll take whatever advice Don't you Don't move one, you're getting a really? tattoo done, dumbass. Sure, it's a good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Never get the tattoo Here's before you hope. pass the test, honestly. The real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Always. Hey, maybe we should get magic. Huh. You want me to get an N7 tattoo? N7? Sure. Or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. You're Dude. such a tease, Vega. Who, me? You ever gonna make good on all this flirting? No! Uh, I was just... I didn't mean to... You know, I was just... <laughs> That's what I thought. Later, Lieutenant. Later. Ah, careful. Why would you do that? Right, we talked to Zaid. I think we did everything we needed to here. Unless there's more metal medi gel dispensers we need to fuck with. There's another one over here, I think. Let me 
look for all of them. It's an N and a 7, how could you mess it up? I mean, if they're moving. Okay, cool, so that's fixed. We can go talk to the doctor. Doctor Who. I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispenser should be working now. See, I told you he's all Thanks. talk. Okay, Most good. patient's moving through triage immediately. I wish we could have found the bastard responsible for the sabotage. But this is going to save a lot of lives. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, we saved some Turians. We've done all that. This poor kid. Still waiting on her family. That's probably not gonna fucking show up. Um... Is there anywhere else we're supposed to go? Check my map. We talked to these guys. We did the Presidium Commons. Edie and Joker are still in purgatory. But I don't think we need to talk to them again. I guess we can check on them really quick. And then just go straight to the Normandy from there. Because I don't think there's anyone else we have to talk to. I think we've covered our bases. Do, do. And then I get to package some orders, like uh, for Cat and Scotty, which I'm very excited about. Miranda, oh right. We talked to her though. We uh, we did a video communication with her. Let's go check on Joker and Edie. Make sure they're not breaking anything. Oh, they're not here anymore. Where are they then? Lower bar. Okay. She has a legit mission too. Oh, though. Okay. We can go do the legit mission. Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. <laughs> so, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. <laughs> oh, Edie. Aw, oh, look at this happy little face. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I'm just not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed a leap. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. <laughs> After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. <laughs> as, someone, as someone that had to cut alcohol because of my bone density, uh, Joker, yeah, you know. Clearly the writers didn't actually know anything about bone density issues. I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating Aw, they're cute. You just introduced me as your personal assistant, Commander. Yeah, well, it was the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why did he bother? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with Reaper-based code. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. <laughs> your turn. Counselor Cable. Hot. But points off for Adam. Shaira, the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Daltrap Linron. Ew. Your turn. Counselor. Oh, that's Lindron. funny as shit. Dave and I did that a little bit when we were first joking. Joker gets the cottest girl in the end. Yeah, he does. When Dave and I were first dating, I would occasionally ask him. Like, alright, what about that girl? Or he would see me checking somebody out at a bar and be like, oh, so that's your type. <laughs> Let me just double check my map that we hit everything. I'm not talking to Arya again. Alright, you're cool. Nope, not what I meant to do. Return to the Normandy. Alright, Miranda gave us a mission. It's not here, though. Dr. Chakwas would like to speak to me down in the mid bay. Great. What the fuck does she want? Just kidding. 
Do, 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 do. I hope things work out for them at the end. They deserve it. Oh, I don't remember if I noticed this last time, but Thane's on here. That makes me happy. I mean, not happy. I'd rather he was alive, but you know. Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my C-Sec days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had now. I tracked down this guy, Salen. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was the Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. It's funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that, too. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega. Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. To worm neck, that's almost impressive. <laughs> oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. Did the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that? Or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. <laughs> I've been through a lot of scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass marine named Jimmy Vega. He sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. <laughs> but mostly me. Oh my god, that was fucking hilarious. Hey, Commander. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use it. Aw, oh, Gare Bear. Us, just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. <laughs> not right now. Hey. Not right now. Don't you talk to me like that. Hey, Commander. I'm your girlfriend now. You're in love with me. What you want, Chakwas? You always pull through, Commander. We've received a supply from Chakwas. Damn straight. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery system. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. All right. And we leveled up again. What up, Glyph? Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valkyr when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. Oof. This minor surgery will erase all scarring from your cybernetic implants. If you forgo cosmetic improvements, you will instead get a small boost to your overall health. We'll get the bonus. Cool. Broker terminal. We got an email from Jacob to Dr. Bryn. I miss you, Bryn, and I'm glad you're back there. The fighting's going to get tough while we push out when we push out with this the crucible. I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who know I used to work for Cerberus. Can't say I blame them, especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach other soldiers how Cerberus fights though. 
They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. I love you, Brian. Take care of yourself. List of recent purchases by Zaid Masani. Armax Arsenal Incendiary Grenades, bulk purchase. Thermal Clips, bulk purchase. Metagel, bulk purchase. M451 Firestorm Fuel, bulk purchase. Ablative Armor Platings. Han Kadar Field Rations. Casa Fabrication Weapon Repair Kit. Mount Milgren Triple Distilled 45 Year Old Scotch Whiskey, two bottles. Rifle parts. Discontinued Avenger series. <laughs> nice. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. All right, you got nothing else. Since these two are busy measuring who's got the bigger dick. Uh oh, Ashley's down here. Maybe she'll talk to me now. Colo just finished Overlord and stormed off camera, crying for a minute. I cried on camera. I got nothing to hide. What up, Ash? Sounds like you got lucky down there, Commander. Civilians, children, could have been very bad. I don't even want to think about it. Yeah. But scooping those scientists right from under the elusive man's nose, that's got to piss him off. <laughs> I'm glad that Jacob guy is going to be all right. I hope we can trust a bunch of ex-Cerberus. Just saying. Hmm. You're not wrong. Commander. She's got a hell of a view. Remember when Samara was hanging out in here? miss her. I hope we see her. She's not dead, right? We didn't accidentally kill her. No, we didn't. She's alive. Does Allers have anything to say? Oh, wait. Wrong floor. <laughs> Whoops. Um, she's in engineering. Samara is a later mission. Oh, sweet. I love her. I'd love to see her. There's a bed right there, girl. I talked with Williams between the 212 Horizon and the Council's other guards. It's like death just follows her around. Jeez. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Damn. You don't have to talk about Ashley like that. She's, she's pretty great. I like her a lot. I didn't think about the fact that she has had a run. Jacob, we're both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Hmm. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I trust you, Commander, when you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals. Otherwise, perhaps later, Commander. All right. I'm glad we're bros now. And that you understand me a little more. And we'll go check on Cortez. He's a good bean. There he is. Ready when you need. Ready when you need. Oh, you got nothing else to say? Alright. Shepard, go take a nap. nothing here my fishies are good I think this is probably a good spot to save and call it quits um, while I would like to give you guys an idea of what my streaming schedule is gonna be this week I honestly don't know that little tickle in my throat from last night I say last night it was like 7 in the morning um, has me a little nervous I might get sick just because Dave's got COVID and so I'm trying to like be careful and I don't want to overexert myself. So as of now, I'm going to say tentatively stream Wednesday or Thursday, one of those two days. But if I get sick, I will tweet about it and let you guys know. Um, if you've ordered from the shop, 
this weekend. I will be packaging up your orders today so that they can be shipped out tomorrow. And a couple of you guys are getting TikToks made out of them, so I hope that's okay. <laughs> In the meantime, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. If you had the day off, enjoy it. And I'm sorry you have to go back to work tomorrow. And I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye.